Now, when it comes to land, there are 7 million people on this. I mean, 7 billion people on this earth. Imagine if they ate $1 a day. $1 is 360. That is breakfast, 100 naira. Lunch, 150. Then dinner, 110. What food can you buy for 100 naira a day? What food can you buy? You can't buy anything. So if one person eats $1 a day, and then there are 365 days in a year, then multiply it. You will be getting that the amount of money that is spent on food in a year is valued at almost um, to, um, 809 trillion, 250 billion naira. How much of that comes to you? Whether you like it or not, people must eat. I went to Korea, I spent one week with my wife. I ate salad in the morning, salad in the afternoon, salad at night. After four days, I said, it's enough. I needed something that will block air in my throat. So I asked Google, please, where can I have pounded yam? He said, go to Ichawan. And I paid $100 with my wife to Ichawan. We paid $100. That's 40,000 naira just to go and eat at or something to block air. <laughs> And I went there and I met an Uche man. Uche, Igbo Kwen, he said, yeah. I said, correct. Do you have a goose? He said, yes. Do you have panda? He said, yes. I get to eat. I said, okay, bring it. So he put it there and I said, okay, let me eat. Now, when they brought the food, I saw the yam. I mean, the, the oil was here. The vegetable was here. The goose was here. The thing was here. The wife was Senegalese. I looked at the food. I carried the panda yam. I stirred it together and I ate it. Now, so I suffered in Korea because you refused to export food. No. I Preach. suffered in Korea <laughs> because you refused to export food. Mm -hmm. Whether you like it or not, everybody here came by transport. Whether you like it or not, you did not trek here. That's money that is going. Currently, as we speak now, over 25% of the cars have turned electric. A boy called Elon Musk woke up one morning and I said he would deal with that issue. Boys are dealing. So if you think you're going to be selling fuel in the next 10 years, my brother, it won't work. It won't work. So you need to start thinking. Dominate the air. Dominate the land. Real estate, whether I like it or not, people are going. Seven billion people. Last place for man is reducing every second. In Nigeria last year, on January 2nd, on the January 2nd, I opened this paper, that the number of children born in Nigeria January 1st were 20,210 in one day. In one day. In one day. 20,000 children were born in one day. 210. That means in one year, 7.36 million children were born. Now, January this year, January 1st, 25,856 students were born in one day. So in, the, in two years now, we'll be having 16 million children in this, in this country. I went to Kenya with my wife. She said that let us go and see elephant. And I asked my wife, who elephant ate? But I didn't want quarter. I said, okay, let's go and look at elephant. We got to the elephant place. We waited at the gate till 11 o'clock. Because you can't see the, the elephants until 11. So we waited outside to see elephant. Now, when we were entering, we paid 500, 500 uh, Kenyan shillings, the equivalent of 2,500 now. So when we entered, I now found out that, okay, we're like 1,000 people waiting to see elephants. So the elephants came out. Orphan elephant, nine orphan elephants, orphan elephant, no father, no mother. Small thing. All we were doing was to touch it. Hey, whiskey, whiskey, whiskey. I paid 2,500 <laughs> to touch elephants. Now, that was not what pained me. It was when I looked around and I saw that there were like a thousand people. So I carried my 20, my calculator, you get it. And I found that 2,500 naira times 1,000 people. My phone told me 2.5 million was the gate fee elephants made in one day. Hey. How much did you make today? Elephants were turning over 2.5 million. <laughs> <laughs> I went to Rwanda. I went to Rwanda. And then they said I should go and see the forest. I said, ah, Rwanda. I go to Rwanda now. I go to the, to the zoo to see the, I mean, not the zoo, the bush to go and see the gorillas. I got there and they told me I had to pay $1,500 to go and see gorilla. And not that they will carry me there. I will trek one hour inside forest to go and see gorilla. My brother, they never cost me rich. <laughs> never cost me. But if you put that gorilla here, we'll turn it to Isi Ewu. So Isi Gorilla, Isi Gorilla or something. We turn to see gorilla, but there they're making money with it. That your house in the village, I beg you, turn it into a business. Turn it into a guest house. Turn it into a guest house. If you are not using it, turn it into a service quarter. Make money. Stop holding liability. Turn it into assets. And they are bond men looking for me. Now, my target, the first time I wanted to make money, and this is House on the Rock. Uh, my target was 100 million. I made it in three months. In three months. Then I raised it up to $2 million. $2 million. I made it in one year. Then I said, okay, my new target is $10 billion. 
So when I started researching, how do I make $10 billion? I said, okay, who has $10 billion then? $10 billion. That's three point something trillion naira. I found this man, Robert Koh. So this man became my new mentor. I started to find out, okay, Robert Koh, what do you do for a living? He has $11 billion. I found out that this man sells palm oil. It's palm oil. Palm oil. Then when I traced this man, he got his palm oil seeds from Benin. Night four. Night four. Night four. Night four. So the man came here and got palm kennel. And now, this man is the richest man in Malaysia, right now, selling palm oil. It's not our location, it's thinking, thinking. Who we touch? Okay, now, this is interesting for me, this is always very interesting. You see these people, the, sand though, this is Dubai sand, yeah, Dubai. Dubai, sand, sand. They, you can't grow anything there, you can't grow. They ask themselves, what would they do? as their national economy. They said that sand is their national economy. So they advertise desert. Now, in this report, 14.5 million, million people went in 2016-17. But in 2018, they said 16 million people went there to go and look at sand. I am sure if I check here, some of us have gone to that sand. Some of us, including me. Now, to go to, I've checked the budget of Edo State and Delta State. Edo and Delta State. Combine their two borders, it's 488 billion. 488 billion naira. But visa in Dubai for one year was 803 billion. So the immigration in Dubai can take care of a do and delta state for two years. Showing people sand. What do you have in your hand? My brother and I went to see sand. So we entered the car. And that car we entered were six of us. $50 per person, 175 dirham per person. You go in the sand dune to see sand, sand, sand. When we got to the mountain, to the, to the high point, we saw that car, 100 cars. So there were 600 people there, 600 people. So I said, if 600 people come in the morning, 600 people at night, in one year, I cut my calculator, 4.9 million billion naira is what a company makes showing people sand, sand. And they can't grow anything there. What can we do with what we have? God put it for us. There's gold in this Eden. Okay, I put it here, sir. Water. My staff, who is now the GM, because I retired three years ago from work. I retired three years ago. My staff wanted to go on holiday. So I said, what do you want to do? He said, brother, let me go and enter boat. I said, okay, you want to go on the cruise? Go for the cruise. He went with his wife. So when they now got to this cruise, so he took a picture and sent it to me. So I saw, I said, oh boy, how many rooms? He said, 2,500 rooms. 2,700 rooms. I said, how much did you pay for one week? 2,500. I can't my calculator. I said, so in one week, they made 3.3 billion naira carrying people inside water. Meanwhile, 70% of Nigeria is made up of water. We are not even using our water economy. Not even. So the problem is not our location. It's our thinking. Hurricane Sandy hit um, in New York. I went to the place called Hurricane Sandy, Long Beach. And when I got there, um, I saw the beach was already done, cleared up and everything. And then um, I, I, I looked there. The whole four kilometers of boardwalk was created. And then there were three, like 5,000 people there. So 3,000 people were in the beach. Each person paid $15. Those people with tent paid $15. So like 5,000 transactions <coughs> happened in a day. So 5,000 transactions times $15 is equal to $75,000 in one day. That's 27 million naira. My goodness. What are they going to do there? Sand and water. Nobody's giving you money or giving you chips or something. You buy it. Coming to sand and water. Nigeria has 845 kilometers of water. We are not making money out of it. 